It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So I can't even believe this. I charged this guy a thousand dollars for door panels and I did it like this. I'm gonna literally have to remold these door panels because I cannot let this fly. Watch the previous video. I've seen that we went and metered the Silverado build, man. We got 412 E Series Sundown subs on a Terra Amps MD5000.1. We got the blow through right there. If you guys watched the video, you already know that we hit a 146.8 on the SPL meter, man. Drop down in the comments and let me know, do you think that's a good number for what we got? I feel that if we actually would have had a full size wall in the back seat uh, with the port, uh, you know, subs firing forward and port. Uh, blowing forward between the seats i feel that it probably would have been definitely in the 147 148 area uh, with the microphone being at the windshield but since it's all the base and no speakers are seen um, it takes a while for the sound pressure to actually get to the window and it definitely hit that 146.8 numbers do not lie next build that we do man it's going to be massive it's going to be crazy guys man. i either want to do like 12 12s or 8 12s one of the two whatever airspace we can fit when we actually get in there and start measuring we're gonna go in. So we're finally, ooh, that's bad lighting. So we're finally back on the door panels, man. Let's check them out to see what they actually look like right now. both of my molds uh i made that one the other day and i actually had to do some touch-ups on this one uh, man they all cured up pretty good um they're not sticky at all because we did less mekp on it so it worked out good but i just had to make some minor adjustments on this guy um and this one we just did a full-blown mold on it and they all came out pretty good <laughs> no son. for today's video we're actually just gonna go ahead and rip the molds off and i drew a line on this guy on the tape before we actually made the mold and it actually uh, went through the mold and we somewhat still have our guideline there this one we already know where to cut to make sure that we get a nice perfect mold now so we're going to lift them up take all the tape off of it um, and then we're going to go ahead and draw the lines out on this one and draw the the lines that we need to cut out on this one and then we're going to go ahead and get them all ready because the next step is laying down rings but before that man we have to make sure that the molds are 1000 percent ready won't be the end of cutting out on the molds because we need to be able to cut some holes so the magnets can clear uh, whenever we get to that point. Same thing with the horns and the tweeter. Quick challenge guys man, if we're getting like a thousand views on a video, I think we should be able to hit a hundred likes on the video man. Stop the video right now, hit that like, and man just drop the speaker emoji uh, just to let me know that you're in the building right now. Let's set everything up, get to work, and cut these molds out. Let's get it. this moment that he knew he fucked up so what i'm about to show you right now is excellent behind the scene footage uh, if this is your first time fiberglassing and making a mold uh this is a perfect example that a possibility that could happen why don't cut nothing out from the video man if there is a you know mess up you know or something that doesn't go right I'm gonna go ahead and show you because if I ran into this problem it's more than likely you guys are gonna run to this problem sooner or later I don't care how good of a fiberglasser you are how long how many times you have done it 
things happen there needs to be a solution to not let it happen obviously one of the solutions that will probably be in the comments is uh, make sure that you do layer by layer uh, yada 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 okay I get it if this situation wouldn't have happened I wouldn't have gave you guys an answer for you guys uh, for this situation as you can see some of the fiberglass mat on the bottom layer didn't fully soak through and get some of the fiberglass resin on the actual mat when we were making our initial mold here is more than likely the first layer but when I did this mold I just laid all the pieces of mat on top of each other and just put fiberglass resin on top of it I'm hoping that it would just uh, soak all the way through but obviously that wasn't the case me myself I learned my lesson not to do that again but there's a solution for everything I'm actually gonna end up doing I'm gonna just keep going forward with what I got going on today I really don't need to you know fiberglass resin it I'm actually going to do it but I'm gonna go ahead and go through my whole thing and cut my mold out make sure everything the cuts and everything are nice and done your boy's gonna come back with some fiberglass resin very very the least amount of MEK probably just like the least amount of MEK uh, because the thing is my mold actually sits on my door panel pretty fire right now and the last thing is I want it for it to like taco up or bow in certain areas I think if I just let it dry for hours and hours with very low uh, MEKP on it uh, nothing will affect my door panel mold and it'll just be like if it never happened but good thing that it happened so I can show you guys um, a situation that could happen to you well, obviously it happened to me right now but there's a solution for it and we're gonna go ahead and do it but stay tuned for the full video on a good note it actually sits pretty good I'm not even gonna lie to you uh, but just a little mishap with the fiberglass mat underneath it um, I mean it could get fixed so I'm not really worried about it but overall it, it, it looks pretty good now I'm gonna actually go ahead and draw these lines out real quick this one right here we already got our reference this specific door panel it curves so we have to make sure that we get good alignment so we're just going to draw a quick line and cut some more if we got to but we just need to make sure that we have enough to cover ourselves on the first one and the fiberglass will eat up your whole marker guys I should think this one's gonna be a lot better than the other one. And this is the one that's messed up. <laughs> Damn. There. Look how much of a gap we were missing right there. Oh man, we filled it in. Cut that just in case. Back and keep cutting it if we got to, but we got to make sure that we have enough so we can play with it. We want these door panels on that edge, guys.
got done cutting our mold. Let's see how it looks after we cut it out. So right here in this area, man, your boy is actually very, very happy with it. Man, excellent, excellent. On this area right here, it actually overhangs a little bit, but that's actually better than we cutting it a little bit too short. So I'm actually going to come back and redraw the line from like starting from this point going all the way up here because we do have a little bit of overhang but you know that's better than it being cut short if you just need to come back through a little bit swoop it and then this one will be fantastic and you know this is just some stuff we can just cut out other than that man this mold came out a1 guys it is the one that doesn't soak through all the way but we're going to fix it here in a matter of minutes Overall, I think this mold is pretty good. We already cut it out to shape. I just got to go ahead and DA the edges. And it's going to be the last thing we do for today's project is throw some fiberglass resin with the least amount of MEKP on the back of it just to make this a little bit solid because we don't want it to get it hard like so it dries up within minutes and then it taking a chance it's going to taco up. We do not want it. Go ahead and make sure that it cures slowly. So now with my DA sander with some 36 grit on it, we're just going to smooth out the edges and then I think the mold should be done. Subscribe to the channel, man, if you love these car audio videos. Man, I try to keep it as much as real as possible because if you're doing it at your house and you run into any situations, man, there's always a solution for everything rather than just giving up and starting all over. Try to fix it. If not, redo it. Since it's not much that we're going to be using, man, I just cut up my Powerade cup that I had. I'm going to dump in all this rest of this resin that I had left over from another project we had. And I'm going to get a little bit more of the bigger one. Put some in there because the boy wants to get good coverage. I think that should be good. And like I said, we're going to use this little cup right here to measure out. But man, we're probably just going to put a little bit. We're not even going to go up to no lines or nothing. We're just going to put a dab in it. I think that should be good enough. That's that's more than enough for what we're trying to do. Oh yeah, perfect. Now one thing we do have to do, we have to mix it pretty good. Like right now, it just has like a regular tone. But once we start stirring it, we should get a darker tone. But even though we didn't put that much in it, we still gotta mix it up good. Because it is gonna slow dry, not fast dry, slow dry. See how now it got more of like a darker tone? I let it sit for like two minutes. Uh, just so it could just hold pretty good and now we can actually start getting it done
Okay, so there you guys have it, man. We fixed the door panel. We just threw a little bit more fiberglass resin with a very low MEKP in it, so it'll just dry up pretty slow. After it hardens up a little bit on the next video, I'll probably just run a quick, you know, 36 grit sanding with the DA just to knock off all the rough surface. But obviously, a lot of it's gonna get cut out once we start laying wood rings. Definitely, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, man. We do car audio in the casino. Hit that like button, man. Let's get 100 likes on this video, guys. Stay tuned. We're gonna keep our audio in every day, and you know, the builds never stop, man. So let's keep going. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one.